on this State of the Union, what's the most interesting thing the president can say to you? You know, I think he's going to focus on what his legacy is going to be. And I think this is going to be a very different State of the Union. And I want to hear what he sees in the future and what he envisions his uh, legacy as being, because I think I'm going to have a very different view of that. But I want to, I want to hear what he has to say. Just give an example how. Uh, I think he's going to see some of the things that have happened, like uh, Obamacare. It, I think that's going to be his biggest legacy. And he sees that as a win. And I don't see it as a win when I go home and hear from folks, you know, my uh, insurance for my small business is going up $10,000 a month, and I can't afford to raise prices. Uh, and, you know, I think it, it's been a struggle for a lot of folks. And uh, he doesn't see it that way. One of the things coming out from the papers this morning is that he's going to paint a picture of America as more optimistic than, say, those on the Republican presidential candidates are uh, viewing it. What do you think about that yeah, idea? No, I, if you were to ask me what the State of the Union is, my answer might be needs improvement. I, I think we've lost our stature internationally. If you look back, what countries do we have a better relationship now with than we did when Barack Obama came in? Cuba, I think that would be fair, and Iran. But you look at a deteriorating relationship with some of our longtime historic allies like Israel. And I don't think that's a, really a great place to be. As far as improving those relations? I, 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 think, uh, I think it's good that we've improved the relations with Cuba and Iran. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. But the fact that we've, we've lost ground with some of our uh, more historic allies is troubling to me. And one of the things he's expected to talk about, particularly, is terrorism, and particularly that to this idea of what's being done as far as the fight against ISIS and ISIL are concerned. And again, I don't think we're winning that battle. It, so you, you're seeing more and more uh, actual terrorist acts here in the homeland. You know, we went for quite a while with, without any, but in the past couple of years, you've seen uh, you've seen the uh, Boston Marathon bombing. You've seen uh, San Bernardino. You, you've seen you know. Uh, Quite, quite a few. And you know, I'm sympathetic to the battle with terrorism. We've got to get it right 100% of the time. And the terrorists only have to get it right once to, uh, to get a big headline. But I, I think we're losing some, uh, losing some ground there. I think they're able to bring the battle to us rather than our bringing the battle uh, to them in the countries that are harboring them in the areas where they're being trained.